Hi, my name is TJ Singh and I'm the SIG product specialist with ENM. So we are all aware of how robotics has completely taken over the industrial automation, especially with the introduction of these new generation collaborative arms. And these are probably the easiest way for anybody to jump into automation to optimize their workflow right now. But the very first question that pops up in everybody's head when we talk about robotic arms is safety. How do we make it a safe collaborative work environment for our workforce? And it definitely sounds complicated and troublesome, but honestly, it's not. I mean, you do need to take care of certain risk assessments for your application. But with this video, I'm going to prove one point that at least the hardware integration is very simple. And I'm going to use a sick safety scanner and a safety relay to get that done. These are the four components we're going to use for the demo. A scanner, a safety relay, a reset button, and a signal tower. So I have the NanoScan 3 hooked up to my computer and I'm using safety designer software to configure the scanner. Firstly, we go to identification. Here we can define the name of the device as well as a project name. Then in application, you can define if it is a stationary or a mobile application. And uh, further, we move to monitoring plane. So in this, we actually define what we are trying to detect. In my case, I'm detecting legs, 50 millimeter resolution. Downstream, we have fields. So what happens in fields is that we actually define our zones here. On the right side, you will see one field set, which has two fields. So in our case, we have a robot and I'm using a protective field to safeguard it. And I'm using a rectangular tool to define my zones. So this zone, the red field, signifies that anything that comes there will stop the equipment or the robot in our case. And then field two, I'll define it a warning field, again using the rectangular tool. And I will create a little bigger one. So this will be like a warning zone. And what happens in our case is that if anything comes here, the robot slows down. So further we move down input output. So here we actually define the pin callout. So let's say for our outputs, this is the OSSD pair, which is output signal switching device. This is the safety output that the scanner gives out to shut off the robot. And then we also have three universal IOs. So for this, in my case, uh, I will have, uh, let's say one reset to reset the device once uh, it stops and then I will have uh, two monitoring results. So the first one would be like a red light to show you that the robot has stopped. And the second one can be like a blue light with like a buzzer, which will basically show that the robot is slowing down. So next is monitoring cases. In monitoring cases, all we have to do is drag the field set from the right to the left side. And that's about it. And you, sign, and, and you sign the OSSD pair to your safety field, which will be your first one. And we will assign our first output, which should be like a red light to the safety field and a blue light with a buzzer for the warning field, which will sh represent the slowdown of the robot. And finally, we transfer this to the device. We are using the SICK UE10 safety relay. And now you can see the connection diagram. So in our scanner, we assigned the OSSD safety output and that we will connect to B1 and B3. And what will happen is K1 and K2 channels will get energized and we'll get three independent current paths, which will be 13, 23 and 33. And these will be your dry contacts to run any equipment that you're trying to stop. We have the final demo ready. The scanner is monitoring protective field as well as the warning field and it is hooked up to the reset button a relay which currently is energized and a signal tower the signal tower here represents the functioning of the robot so if anything enters the warning field a blue light and a buzzer is turned on and if it moves further into it and enters the protective zone the red light turns on and you will see the relay de-energized and the equipment shuts off. So the reset light turns on. So I have to press the button 
so that the robot can start working again. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and I will be happy to provide assistance. Thank you.